Hello Taurus and welcome to my channel Green Line Goddess Tarot. This is your weekly check-in, a uh, weekly message and it is for Taurus Sun, Moon and Rising. And so if you know all of your placements, then I always uh, recommend to watch all three of your signs because it shows you a, a kind of a bigger picture of what's going on for you. And Taurus, this is a general reading, so just take what feels right and leave the rest. You will get the message of what you need to hear. And I am asking, what do you need to know right now? So let's see. The Three of Swords, my goodness. The Hierophant, here you are. Beautiful Taurian energy, the Taurus card and the Two of Pentacles. You're weighing something up here. And at the base... Well, we have the tower has come in and also the nine of wands at the base. <laughs> Let's see. I want to put the tower card there. Uh, so you are stepping into this new soul journey here with the Hierophant. And this could also be around a commitment that you're weighing up. You know, it's maybe really a sense of, is this right for you? This is a big question that you're asking. Is this something that's built on some good foundations? Is this something that uh, is for your highest good? So there's all this sense of weighing something up or juggling some energies or being caught between two worlds of wanting to commit, not wanting to commit. Uh, and there's a, it's an interesting energy because I feel like it's really bringing you back to yourself of what's true for you. And so this can actually have a sense of uh, being very tiring and exhausting. It could take out some of your energy. It could be that you are so close to the end of a cycle here that has been, it has really kind of maybe, like I said, it's taken something out of you here. So it could have even felt quite wounded by this. So your soul is kind of stepping in and there could be these flashes of knowing, of illumination, of intuition that's coming through. And I feel like you're kind of saying no to something. I feel like you're putting a stop to something that was like a thorn in your side. So that feels really, really important and it's kind of created an imbalance or an instability within you that something, an energy has been out of balance. And so you're kind of coming back into alignment now and releasing that and you're coming to the end of that cycle. So that feels really good. Let's pull some more cards for you here, Taurus. And to some people, this may seem like this is not a sudden, it may sound feel like a sudden change or decision from, from the outside looking in. But for you, this is something that you have been experiencing or thinking about for a long time. It's not a rash decision, but you might just have this flash of insight that I have to do this now. So... This is kind of the energy that's coming through for you around this, Taurus. But I love that the Hierophant is come in the centre because this is really remaining true to a higher truth, a higher moral cold, code, cold, <laughs> code. Yeah, you don't want a cold. Uh, a higher moral code, if I can say that. And also, yeah, really feeling like it's there's an integrity to this. So it says, when I lean on the faith of the universe, peace becomes real. Wow, they're so beautiful. Look at those little owls and that moon there. And so I feel like there is this sense of faith in the universe. It is kind of like you're kind of letting go of control for a moment and just saying, okay, soul, it's up to you. Bring what is right for me. Bring help me make this decision. But it's not giving up your power. It's just letting go of an expectation or a particular outcome. So kind of surrendering a little bit to the messages from your soul and spirit seems to be a really important journey in this message that's coming through you, for you. Let's see, pull an animal spirit energy here for you, 
Taurus. Could also be to do with money, like juggling money that things have been, you've been kind of juggling things to kind of make ends meet or, and it's kind of like, no, I'm sick of this. So, I mean, because we have seen there's been a big shift and change in terms of your money that's coming through. Wow, we have the unicorn. Okay, so I love this card. And we can see that that circle there represents spirit. And again, we've got spirit and your soul coming in and kind of getting some very, very strong guidance and messages around that, even some intervention as well. Like it could be just... Uh, things shifting, the landscape shifting and moving slightly. So the unicorn is very much around the fact that, again, it is that thing about belief, faith, because the unicorns are not real. Oh, are they real? Is this journey real or not? Is this something that really is real and something I want to commit to? Is this just a pipe dream? So the situation that you're in at this moment in time does require a lot of faith that you're on the right path because you it feels very soul aligned. It just doesn't feel like necessarily that um, whilst that feels really good, there's a few things that are not feeling solid and stable around it at this moment in time yet. And that's because uh, the universe is kind of bringing in a new foundation for some things. So it's kind of, like I said, there's this shifting landscape that's coming at this moment in time. And that can, that can, um, not feel good for, for you guys, for Torians. It's like, you know, you don't want to be feeling like the earth is moving beneath you. So I do feel like there's this inner wisdom, inner intuition that's coming through, which is your guiding light, which is really going to help you through this. And to really believe in this path, believe in yourself, have faith that things are going to work out. It says, I am safe and it's only change. I cross all bridges with joy and ease. The old unfolds into wonderful new experiences. My life gets better all the time. Wow. Okay. Unpacking. And it says, my healing is already in process. My willingness to forgive begins. My healing process. Oh. Sorry, my willingness to forgive begins my healing process. I allow the love from my own heart to wash through me, cleansing and healing every part of my body. I now, oh, sorry, I know I am worth healing. So that's really beautiful. And that's why I kind of keep getting uh, this image of a thorn in your side and uh, the healing of that, which feels really uh, important. So... Let's pull an animal, I mean a charm. We have the beautiful musical notes. And we've kind of got three, you know, it's interesting because we've got the three of swords, we've got the three beats, it could be related to heartbeat. It could have been related to three separate incidences or it could be related to the number three. It could have been that there was a third party situation occurring here. But what I love about music is music is of a very high frequency. Uh, this is when things start happening quickly. Your heart skips a beat. Uh, so it can actually be, I feel like it's kind of like the boo 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 I'm kind of getting this rhythm in my head. And it's kind of like if you listen to that rhythm or that frequency and align to that, then, you know, it's, you know, dancing to the beat of your own drum. But it's listening to kind of, it kind of feels tribal, like boo 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 almost shamanic, like something is calling you from spirit or even something is being called back that has been out of your body or has not been connecting to you. So this sense of uh, it's quite a primal, almost tribal energy coming in, uh, I feel like, yeah, it's calling you back. To you. So really trust this process because it does feel slightly intangible. It's like, how can I commit to something that I don't necessarily can see or don't necessarily know is re real or true? It's just a feeling, a sense, a calling. But that is very much the message that's coming through for you to, to listen to that, heed that, feel that. And this could be 
I feel like it's just mostly bringing you back to connecting in deeply to yourself is kind of what I'm getting. Uh, so this inner knowledge, this inner wisdom, uh, whatever parts of you have been out of alignment, there's healing around that. And there is a sense, it's interesting because the Nine of Wands is the wounded warrior and we have the Three of Swords, which represents the wound. So it's like you might have been struggling with this for a while or you've kind of pushed on and just learnt to live with it. But there's a sense that it needs to kind of uh, be expulsed, expulsed, no, expelled, like an expulsion <laughs> is kind of the word I'm being given. There's an expulsion of that thorn in your side. So, and it could happen quite quickly, quite quickly. So it's quite a pointed energy. Something's going to kind of, going to kind of, like it could be this, like I said, a realisation that something's going to hit its mark and it's going to have this effect that releases you. So that's kind of the energy for the week, Taurus. And it feels really good because it feels like you're stepping back to who you are and coming back to who you are and that this lovely alignment with what's true for you. So, yeah, it does feel like there's a little bit of um, changing, shifting ground, a bit, a bit of change, but it actually feels like it's where it's going to land is going to be something that even though you're not being shown yet, I'm kind of getting whenever you get that there's faith or you're about to step into something that requires a lot of faith, it could be requiring a lot of strength, a lot of courage. But this is a passage that you kind of need to go through at this moment in time as well. And usually within these sort of things, there are great riches and rewards uh, through and knowledge gained through this process. So, yeah, that's, that's the message for the week, Taurus. And uh, look forward to hearing your comments and look forward to seeing you next time.